Hello, it's Dave Fisher of Flying Fish. In front of me here we have the excellent 200 amp Hobby Wing ESC. That's just got even better with the new firmware that's just been released. We've always had the telemetry coming back from VBAR through to Hobby Wing, but now we have the ability to adjust internal parameters from the transmitter itself. This works with the touch and the jog wheel transmitter. There are also some parameters which have been changed which give you a more linear spool up and also if you're using bailout function for the uh, auto rotation there's a much faster more instantaneous bailout that uh, works with this firmware. So we're going to go through quickly and show you how easy it is to upgrade your firmware. So the first thing you want to do is go on to the Hobby Wing website and download the new USB link which will be the version 5.0.3 and that will be on the actual uh, computer set up ready to go once you've got it there open it up and then we can plug in our hobby wing program box uh, with the USB lead into the computer and then all we have to do then is unplug the telemetry lead in the side of the ESC pop this into the side there and that's all we need to do on that we don't need to click any buttons on the program box that will link us through to the computer it will say connecting PC but it doesn't say anything more than that um, now we've got that there let's plug in the battery and power up we've got the blades off for safety obviously uh, I've never known one of these to spool up when you're doing this but it's wise to do that just in case so now we plug in and what will happen now is we need to ask the program to connect to it so we go to connect and click and just wait a few seconds and you should get a little bar come up there it is it stopped beeping and there's the bar it's downloading what is in the actual ESC at the moment so now we have the internal parameters which we could adjust which is something we could do on the computer we're not interested in that we want to go to firmware update here and when you get to this firmware update it will tell you the firmware that's on there okay so this firmware is the PL200 and at the end of it is uh, 1.2 VBAR if you look at the latest one here it's 1.00 VBAR and if we click here we can see the previous um, firmware versions in there so this is the one that we want and all you have to do is click upgrade there we are and then it will do everything itself so when that bar has gone all the way across and complete it will say that it's successful you just click it uh, and that will be a, just a case of rebooting the ESC and it will be ready to go so let's let that bar complete so now it's completed you'll get this little box come up it says it's successful you just click OK and you'll notice now it should actually there it is finish it's just I need to wait that's done that's it so all we need to do now is click disconnect now we can unplug the battery there we are and remove this and we have the new firmware in the actual unit just put the telemetry back in and what we can do now is just get the transmitter out and just show you that it's successful well before we do that actually what we can do here is we plug this box in let's get rid of this from the computer Okay, if we put the box in there, when you plug in, it will actually tell you that the new firmware is in there. So Hobby Wing, okay, and it will uh, connect. Connecting ESC. Please wait. And there we are. Look, there's a 1.00 V bar that uh, just came in to show you that uh, it's got the new firmware. Now, what I would do is, once you've got the new firmware in there, go through your settings on the ESC to your required settings, the ones that you would normally use, uh, and uh, make sure that that's as you want before you operate the unit. If we go through, there's an interesting one in here, if I just, without changing any of the parameters to start with, your motor timing defaults to, let's just have a quick look, 25 degrees. Okay, with a little star on it saying that's the default, uh, that would need to come back to what 
you would normally set for your motor. So I'm going to set that to 15. Enter. There we are. Um, so yeah, make sure your parameters are as you want them. Right, let's unplug there. So that's data saved. Yep, unplug. And we can now check with the radio. Right, with the transmitter switched on there, let's check it all works. We reconnect the data cable from the Neo to the Hobby Wing. Plug in. Now, while this is uh, binding, remember that you do have to update your transmitter uh, to actually use the new uh, firmware. Otherwise, you won't have the parameters in the transmitter. Make sure that we've got the Hobby Wing single, single, the Hobby Wing uh, symbol there, which shows that uh, we've got the telemetry working. And if we go in here and go all the way down to Application Setup, down to the bottom there, we've got Hobby Wing ESC. And what you'll notice, we can scroll down now to Settings, and there we are. We've got the settings in there where we can actually change values in the ESC. So that's all working beautifully. There we go. Right, let's come out of that. So now we know that we've got communication between the hobby wing and the transmitter. Let's show you the spool up. Here we go. A bit noisy, but there you go. A uh, nice linear spool up from the start through to the actual head speed, so that's nice. Let's show you the bailout now. We've got it set to one and a half seconds, so it's pretty fast. You can set it to what you like, but just to show you, it's very spontaneous. Here we go, it's going to be the auto rotation bailout. <laughs> All in all, really pleased with that. So I'm going to be going to the field and having some fun. Hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to get in contact.